I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee. We have a local tour guide here. Some of the best barrel picks I've ever had. I'm gonna give that one a try. Just talked about how I didn't want to smoke my bourbon. You got me buying a bottle of Hickory Smokes Jack Daniels. I'm gonna break his other leg. I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee. On the way home from the Kentucky Derby, figured why not stop off, see what we can find in Nashville. But we're gonna do this one a little different. We have a local tour guide here. Jason Big J Rock 10 in the Discord, if you happen to be there. It's gonna give us the guided tour of Nashville, even though he's on the injured reserve. Got the bionic leg going on there. This is Colonial Wine and Spirits. What's special about Colonial Wine? So Colonial Wine and Spirits. Spirits, they actually have a barrel pit group down here that has some of the best barrel picks I've ever had in the whole city. Let's go check that out and see what they got. Nice to meet you. Come do a little yes, and see what you got. We were told this is the barrel pick spot. Is that true? Okay. <laughs> TJ Spencer, baby. Nice to meet you, Spencer. Bourbon barrel aged imperial milk stout. It does not sound wonderful, but never judge a beer you haven't tried. Grab it. We'll uh, we'll shoot a video on that. We'll do a review of that one on the short. Square bottles. Out of here, this one? Yeah. What is this like? Lexington Distillery? Yeah, Lexington Brewing and Distillery. Hey, What's the distillery that does the uh, Kentucky bourbon now? Town Branch. That's it. Mystery solved. Town Branch is their bourbon. Southern Collective bottle. Haven't tried that yet. What do you think about those Southern Collective bottles? Well, you've actually had the uh, Breakfast in Bed right Oh, there. is that the, that's the one we had, yeah. that you, the sample you brought? Yes, sir. It's nothing better. Have you tried that one? I have. I have a bottle of that. It's good. This Maker's Cherry Bill is really good. It's got some Maker's 46 stains in it, though. Mm. Yeah, your favorite. Just bought one of these. Did you? I haven't tried it yet. So a lot of these are picks. That's a store period. The toast is worth that? Where is that? All right, I may pick one of those up oh, then so we can try it. I haven't tried it yet. Have you done this yet? Um, I just bought it. That's a fancy bottle. Yeah, Big Tiva? Yeah. The Hill Rocks, that's a, a small distillery out of New York. My catcher's rye. I really like that one. Wheeler's is a uh, local distillery here over in Nolensville. Okay. But I think it's sourced. Let's see if it tells us if it's sourced. Honey cask finish. That's a good bottle. Ooh, it's got some letters on there that are about the same color as the label. <laughs> they, don't, they don't make it easy. It may say something, but like, Lord knows what that right there says. Distilled in Indiana, it says at the bottom, okay. so it's going to be MGP. Yep. Jepson's Burr. Bourbon? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> uh, should we try this to Malort? All right, y'all go ahead and let me know which one of these y'all are mad that I didn't buy. Like, probably every time I pass a Blue Note or a Smoke Wagon, somebody's like, why didn't you buy that? Because I have them. I have this one. I have most of the Smoke Wagon stuff. You can't buy them all. What about these, uh, what is that? Leaper's Fork? Leaper's Fork. Leaper's Fork? That is like the dude really on stuff here. It's Bottle and Bond. Kind of pricey though. 81 bucks for a Bottle and Bond. What do y'all think? $81 for a Bottle and Bond from somebody you've never heard of. This one's uh 16% wheat, 70% corn it looks like. Got a lot of transparency on here. Four years old, tells the barrel entry proof. Like that's about as transparent as he got. I'll, I'll do that. Just for the transparency, I'm gonna give that one a try. How many stores are we going to? How many, how many Nashville stores do we need to hit? <laughs> Right. We don't have a. We do. We do have four, five more hours to drive. Right. right. So there's uh, three right this immediate area okay. that I like, and there's probably four or five more down 65. So I'm trying to figure out how hard we go on the budget early, right? Yeah. Like that's the problem with you know more stores. When you got a certain number of stores, it's like you want to spread the budget out and then you end up passing on some good bottles. So right. I, I don't know. All right, let's do this and the Penelope Toasted. We're gonna try those. Something we might be able to do barrel picks with. That's what we're. That's what we're looking for. I, I am gonna regret not getting that. Southern Collective, though. I go ahead and tell you. You got your idea on YouTube on State Line? No, I get you. you. He's a baby. He's a baby. <laughs> I just laugh at him. He's been trying to grow that mustache out. How's the mustache check? So this video there. mustache check, how's it? It's almost there. It's almost there, okay. He's like, I'm gonna grow this mustache out, I won't get carded. All right, so which, which one's next? Uh, let's say let's hit Melrose on the hill, because okay. they're 11, and it's uh, 11.25 now. M-I-L-L-R-O-S-E? M-E-L-R-O-S-E. M-E-L-R-O, so like Melrose Place. Melrose, I thought, yep. not Milrose. That, that Tennessee accent's coming out there a little bit. Hey, I want to talk to you for a minute. As you may or may not know, I've made my fair share of moonshot. I'm from Alabama. It's practically in my DNA. But there's some things you just don't want to talk about because you never know who's listening and you need to protect your privacy. And that's why I protect myself with NordVPN. I've been on the
on the road a lot lately, live streaming from hotels and bourbon hunting all over the Southeast. And we're just gonna continue to expand that. But just because I'm on the road doesn't mean that work stops. I'm accessing bank accounts and email and all sorts of things. And hotel Wi-Fi is not to be trusted. And NordVPN is all about privacy, which is something moonshiners know too well. They don't share or track anything I do all they do is make sure my data is secure with their next generation encryption, even though I have no idea what was wrong with the last generation of encryption. The internet is a scary place. As someone who's dealt with some identity theft issues, believe me when I say, you're gonna care a whole lot more about your security when you've lost it. But don't let it come to that. Give NordVPN a try. Right now, you can get an exclusive deal at nordvpn.com forward slash bruiser. You can also save a ton of money if you sign up for a two-year plan and you get one month free, and that's good for our bourbon budget. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, head on over to nordvpn.com forward slash bruzel and protect your secrets. Ooh, is that bridge out? Melrose Wine and Spirits, which don't look open. Does it? My phone said they weren't open. Will's phone says they are open. Now we're about to find out. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Will's phone was right. Old Hamer, West Fork. They do have Chattanooga founders up there, but I, I just can't get on with the malts. No. Ooh, there's a four gate. Fable and Folly Orphan Barrel. That Fable and Folly, have you tried it? I have not. I bought one. Well, actually, somebody gave me one. I passed on it a couple times because it's like 90 proof, but don't sleep on it. Like that's a, I, it's expensive whiskey, but man, is it, it delivers for 90 proof. That's for sure. O.H. Ingram, River Aged. Any bottle you're looking for? Nothing in, in particular right now. I'm thinking about that Chattanooga Founders, but. Oh, have you tried that Whistle Pig Smoke Stop? I have not. Traeger? Doesn't sound like something I would like. <laughs> I like smoked meats, but just smoking my whiskey? I don't know. I'm a little iffy on that. Trigger, I ain't gonna buy. They've done a good job with marketing. I will give them that. They they pretty much own the grill market at this point. Trigger, hit me up. Maybe we could do, I don't know, maybe we could smoke some bourbon together. There's an old overhaul 114 on the bottom shelf right now. Have you had it? Not the 114. I've had the 86. The 86 is pretty good. <sighs> Let's look at this Hudson. Let's look at it. Distilled and matured by T U T H I L L to Thill Town. Tootle Town? Tuttle Town, something of that nature. Aged a minimum of three years. Let's give it a try. We've got a lot of New York spirits here lately. Might as well get one more. You find anything interesting here, Will? Nothing at all. Will's not into the bourbon hunting videos. He was much more involved with the Kentucky Derby video. Your suntan seems to be coming in though. Like you're not too burnt. Crispy though. Always check the proofs of a Jack Daniels single barrel. Uh, 127. I tend to see a lot higher proofs in the small ones. So if you see the little, you know, 750s, and some of those will be well on into the 130s. All right, I think this is the bottle. The distiller series, plus 375. There. What are those? There's a rye maple and then an oak maple. Or the oak. That's a good catch. Hickory smoked. I just talked about how I didn't want to smoke my bourbon. Like literally just had that conversation. <laughs> and now you got me buying a bottle of Hickory Smoked Jack Daniels. I keep saying, I keep saying, everything Jack Daniels makes outside of old number seven is fantastic. Like even when it's not good, I know it's just not good to me. I feel like I have to try those. So we're gonna, we're gonna take those as well. I apologize if my energy seems a little off in this video. And if it seems that way, well, it's because it is. Because we have just come back from the Kentucky Derby. And one thing I found bringing Will on these trips is Will doesn't like to sleep. He's the guy that's like, you know, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep doing something. Let's go to this place. Let's go to that place. You know, we can sleep when we get home. So I, I didn't. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep here at the Derby. Now, it was a good time. We had fun. It was a good, you know, hopefully it's a good video. This one may actually come out before it does because there's so much footage. But maybe next time we get a little more sleep. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully next time we do. You don't seem like you're actually thinking that's going to be the case, though. Probably not. I'm sleeping on the way home, though. Yes, that's the problem. Everybody gets to sleep on the way home but me. Wolves, rye whiskey, and hop flavored whiskey. Hop flavored whiskey doesn't sound like that's something I'm going to like. But so Vinny J was talking about that one, said he loved it. It was really good stuff. He's trying to sell me on it. He's trying to. 
he's putting a hard press on me to buy that one. We'll, we'll see. Casey Jones, somebody was mentioning that the other day. And I said, I, I just have a hard time with so, whiskey with celebrity names, especially if they've been in the Ninja Turtles. I mean, if, it may be great. I don't I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't say bottled and bond. It does not. Authentic square pot distilling. Distilled in Kentucky, aged and bottled by Casey Jones. So it makes sound like they sourced it from somebody. More Nulu picks. Been seeing a lot of those lately. Another Colorado. Drink to glory. I don't think that's how that works. So that Prosecco United up there is a full grain up on top shelf. My understanding of that is that is the by the Bourbon Pursuit podcast. It is, yeah. It's good. It's good whiskey. Yeah, They've sent me good. some samples. Okay. It's really good stuff. Yeah, I like it. And if you couldn't hear that, he's talking about this Pursuit United stuff here. Never seen the Never Sink Bourbon whiskey finished in apple aperitif cask, brittle and bit. Anything about it. Still in Indiana. I know a little bit about it. We know a little bit. <laughs> Halloween bottle smoke wagon. Those are going to be a collectible someday. Yeah, the Halloween, the Christmas tree, and the uh, American flag ball there. What do you know about this Rigers? In Missouri, right? Kansas City? Bowling and bowling. Oh, Lord. I think I passed on this and picked up the Ben Holiday instead. Did you? I believe. Not, and it wasn't a bottle and bond Rigers. Yeah, just can't just see the whiskey. Sucker for bottle and bonds. But it looks like 65 bucks for this one. I think that's going to be it for me here. Hey, y'all have done a great job pushing these videos. I thank you very much. <laughs> Budget's going up a little bit. We're trying to make them a little bigger. That's why we're at the Derby and doing stuff like that. So, you know, do me a favor. Keep pushing these if you like this, even though my energy's off today. I apologize about that. Hit the like button. Subscribe, maybe. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's worth it, I think. Well, let's uh, let's try to at least try one more here and see what happens. What What did you say to me? I said they have a dickle pick. 15 years. What is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying. Yeah, that's not funny. Have you tried any dickle? I have tried some dickle 15s. It's been pretty decent. I'm going to break his other leg. How's it going? Pretty good. Found a good bottle. Jay Riger, have you had that Riger bottled in bond? Mm, not in a very long time. They're from, they're from Missouri, right? Yeah. Ooh, Goose Island bourbon stout that's back there. Right there. <laughs> Do you have some of those Goose Island stouts laying around? Um, I didn't look to see if there were any back there, though. Uh, I don't see it. It's all right. Jill's got plenty of beer to drink, Jill. <laughs> you got plenty of beer. Frugal McDougal. Frugal McDougal. Bradshaw, we get asked about that and Brothers Bond an awful lot. Product of Indiana. Oh, well, MGP. So, there you go. Yeah, product of Indiana here on the Brothers Bond. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a good MGP bottle, but I'm looking for something that somebody's putting out, right? That's kind of different. I have a question for you. You may or may not know this. I know you stock the Ancient Ancient Ainge 10 Star. This here, though, is the Ancient Ainge 90. You know anything about the difference? I've searched. I can't find anything. It says the same thing on Google. Well, you've got... So the, this one and that one, mm -hmm. my guess is they just changed the label. So see, this one doesn't say 90, that's 80 but it's, proof. so is that one 90 proof? Yeah, that one's 90 proof. So it's exactly the same, just 90 proof? That's 80 proof. Yeah, but I'm assuming that's... That's a 90 proof, ancient age 90. Same exact thing, theoretically, just 90 proof versus 80 proof. Right. Like, I just hope that means they're not getting rid of the ancient, ancient 10 star, and they're just releasing it as that. So it's, right. oh, that would be such a shame. We're going to have to blind that versus ancient, ancient, though. I may see if I can find a smaller bottle. You can find that, yeah. Yeah. Dixon's the guy's name, D-I-X-O-N. I have a bottle, I haven't tried it yet. So it's some source stuff, but he does a blend and double barrels it. What do you know about barrel proof? Well, that's cardinal. So, uh, if you beat, depends on which one it is though. I've got, from Colonial, I've got a weeder. 120 proof it is really good. The Starlight stuff. A lot of folks are loving those. Our Maniac finish and then triple, triple sec, sec finish. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. The Starlight, that's Indiana, but I think they're a grain of glass like the uh, free ranch stuff. Right? Yeah, I just want like a normal whiskey from them though. Like I haven't seen just their normal, I've never come across just their normal bourbon, or at least when I was looking for it, I haven't come across it. So I'm, I want to try that. Finished in a wild turkey rye barrel there, that rolling fork. What about copper and cash? You ever heard of those? I have. Tasted a couple of them. They taste kind of young and just short. Gotcha. I might have to try those turkey rides at some point. Which one? The rare breed in particular. There's a Bargetown Fortuna. Why is it in handcrafted? Is It's got its own glass case here. Fortuna, rare perfection. Rare character. Rare character, that's it. Is that, is that good stuff? Or? There is a Balcones Rumble back there on that back shore. Wildflower honey, turbinado sugar, and... Hey. Like a, you gotta like get a reflection on the light, you know, on the glossy letters there to uh, to actually be able to see. That was a mouthful. So you gotta like get it in the light to even be able to see what it says there. That's why, like, give me some contrast, man. I'm old. <laughs> give me a decent font with some contrast, please. Y'all got an aging demographic here. You need to 
We need to straighten it up. So that's not what I thought it was. I just saw the documentary over there. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that for sure. Yeah. Which video did you watch? Actually, there's a few of them. You had an Alabama one? Uh, the the, the quarterly lottery yeah. in Alabama, yeah. where the great Weller debacle, as we call it. Yeah. What do you think about that? What, what if that had happened to you? What if you had somebody doing you a huge favor, had won, said you get any bottle, your favorite bottle in a store pick sitting there, and he takes Weller Special Reserve instead? Well, it's disappointing, but I wouldn't know. You think you think we're going to let him pass, even though he's like the 1983 Portland Trailblazers, right? You've got Michael Jordan sitting there. You're on the clock, and you just completely and totally ruin it by choosing Sam Boo. All right, I think we're going to go with this Starlight batch. Hello, how you doing? Good. How about yourself? All right, it's just going to be out for you. Darling. That's got it. All right, man, I appreciate you hanging out with us. I think we got about five more hours, four hours and 45 minutes. If we don't stop to get home, I think we're going to get on the road. I don't blame you. Yeah, but it's a good local tour. Y'all let me know in the comments, though, where did he mess up? Like, which store? Because everybody's like, oh, you went here and you didn't go to that store. You've done it wrong. So which store should we have went to? Now, he didn't have much time. We kind of limited it to a, a, you know, a little, a small geography. So we didn't have to go too far and too hard because this was just kind of one of those pit stops on the road home. But... Which store are they going to tell you that you should have went to? You know there's going to be one. Which one? On this side of town? You know, really, we probably hit the best ones on this side We of got town. the ones on, okay. All right, so. You might, fuzz, you might hit Cool Springs Wine and Spirits on the way down. Okay, so that's the one they're going to give you crap about. So. Local Nashville folks, let me know. And like I said, I know my, my energy was a little off in this one. We wanted to stop, and we just went a little went a little too hard there in uh, in Kentucky at the Derby. But y'all let us know how we can make these bourbon hunting videos even better. If there's something I could be doing, more things we could be talking about, more questions we could be asking folks. Like, we're always looking to take these to the next level. So appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see you in the next one.